category zero. This was from Scout Comics, right? And I want to give a shout out. Sarah's in the chat. Sarah Haimo. She's also one of the newest Patreon members. She gave a good bolo herself that they she put it out there that Scout actually has an ash can of this on their site if anyone's interested in getting that. So that's that's a good bolo as well. Yeah, and I definitely I'm gonna piggyback off that and say shout out to Sarah. Era, um, since she's joined the Bolo Nation Simplemans Comics community, she has been an, uh, kind of an exceptional member, really kind of added a lot to the community. She jumps on the Facebook, uh, added a lot of comments on other people's posts. Um, and we always talk about, like, we pay attention to that stuff. We notice that stuff. So shout out to Sarah. And she kind of gave us the idea um, to kind of, like, push the Patreon. She got that the idea more the... Um, she was the cattle prod that we needed to get that kind of going. So shout out to Sarah for sure. And that's a great Bolo yeah. Um, the ash picking up the ash can um, from Scout Comics. We talk about the value of these small press publishers, uh, actual web stores. They want them. We again, they're they, they struggle to make money off the printing of comics. Uh, James Hay told us the goal is to break even at best. Your money again is with your adaptation. So, you know, the the opportunity to sell direct, they love that, and that's your best opportunity to get in. So great, great job, Sarah. That's a great bolo. Um, this book I did not read, so I, I want to force my man Brian to go ahead and throw a little, because I know he read this book. So, so I I know he can give us one of his classic Simple Men's reviews. I'm going to keep, I'm going to kiss and keep it simple, stupid, because, so we, a little background on this. We just last week filmed a, an interview with James Hake, president of Scout Comics, which will premiere on Simple Man's Comics YouTube channel Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern for those that are interested in watching that. But we talked about it with James. He was talking about Category Zero. And then, like, I thought maybe James had reached out to him, but the author, Adam, I'm not going to kill his last name because I do that all the time, but he reached out to me said, hey, I have a Vance copy. Would you mind looking at it and reviewing it? And I, was, I thought they had talked. I read it. I enjoyed it. I'm just going to keep it simple and say, hey, if you're a fan of X-Men and those type books, you're going to like this one because there's a, a mutant gene that only affects a certain amount of people. And then when it does affect them, they start getting different abilities. And like I said, bad job of talking this book up, but it is a great read. So if you're interested in X-Men type books, especially from an indie point of view, definitely pick it up and give it a read. Or read it digitally or find someone that you can get you a copy of. Just walk into the comic book store and kind of flip through it real quick and see if it's something you're interested. I enjoyed reading it, and I'm going to recommend it to other people. But and so that's then, coming from a that's coming from a guy who's not a I don't want to say not a big Scout fan, but he has said previously that that wasn't a publisher he uh, read a lot of books by. So um, I think that's a pretty glowing yeah. review for I'll, a guy who doesn't read Scout books and checked it out, loved it. Yes, I'll tell you. I'll come out and tell you. I'm not a big uh, Scout. I want to. Say, Saying not a Scout fan, but it's one of the ones that I didn't pay much attention to until after having that conversation with James. Some of the books are definitely on my radar. but And that's that's one of the reasons why I love that show, and I encourage everybody. I know that that's not one of our, say, biggest shows um, views-wise, um, but there's so much nuggets of spec value on those shows, um, and they're only going to get bigger. We have, I'm going to tell you guys straight up. I'll go ahead and leak this. We have so many of these people let, trying to reach out to us after filming the first show to do a second episode, the pre or post San Diego Comic-Con with all the good info you want to know. So be on the lookout because there's going to be some coming from the spotlight show that's going to be incredibly valuable. But I, I agree with Brian that um, doing that show, we've gotten an opportunity to talk to these um, to these kind of creators and publishers and the insight that we've gotten. I've walked away from every episode buying more books looking for more books um from these publishers so i think you guys will get the kind of the same feel and vibe and you kind of you can kind of tell the real from the fake right off the bat right yeah so when the, didn't realize scout and then x-men's usually not my thing but i definitely enjoyed this i enjoyed their take on this whole kind of mutation type ability but <laughs>